now that we've covered all these buttons, I think we can get into this combo. So, if you have absolutely no meter and no sidekicks or supports with All Might, and you just want to do a basic combo that costs nothing, I think the most damage you're going to get is 3 hits into this. 6,398 damage, which is, is, you know, pretty good damage for an easy thing. You can go into that if you want to get the... If you want to get the, like, fake reset combo from their recovery, you can do it into that. And to get a bit more damage, because that cost me nothing, and overall be about 10,000, 11,000 damage. Or actually, yeah, yeah. But that's boring. We need to go into the dash cancel combos, because this is where All Might really shines. So, a lot of people like to extend their combos by doing this, or something like this, or this into Tilt Block 2. But I found the best way to get the most damage is to go into his armor move and dash cancel after that, because this move here, it like scales the combo a lot. So, if you do long combos after it, you're not going to do as much damage. So, what a regular bread and butter combo looks like with All Might is three hits into armor move which I'll remind you is safe, dash cancel into the air grab, red move on the ground, 3 hits, into this. 10,159 damage. Pretty good, pretty amazing I'd say. For one dash cancel, a lot of characters only get uh, 9,000 damage with one dash cancel, but All Might gets 10,100, which is pretty good, obviously, since it's All Might, look at him. Um. Anyways, so yeah, so that's his bread and butter, I'll show it again. Three hits into the armor move, dash cancel into the air grab, and do his red attack. And then, oh, I, oops, I was able to extend the punches a bit more, I didn't realize I didn't do that. And then you can actually get 10,500 damage, just even better, even better. Anyways, if you're extending the combo even more, actually, no, never mind, I don't rec recommend you extend the combo anymore because you don't really get that much damage. You could do something like this. Oops, I need to do that. You could do something like this and then dash cancel after this into the red move, but as you'll see, it doesn't actually grant you that much of a combo bonus, and that's because of how much that other move scales. So he does a little bit more. But you've done twice the amount, used twice the amount of meter, and I just don't think it's worth it. Usually I do the 10,500 damage one for one dash cancel. Because that's really good damage. Like, don't complain. Anyways, if you want to extend with the support, it's really easy with All Might. Because after he does his part two, pull out Aizawa, and then he's trapped there. And then you can go into your regular combo after that. Uh, that's... Not right. <laughs> go into his regular combo, I would say. Now, I don't often really do this because the damage payoff isn't that much more. Uh, I could have cancelled that, cancelled that a bit earlier, but it would have done about uh, 10,700 damage, which is still good. But I recommend. If you're going to use a support, just make it completely free, and you still get really good damage for a uh, free combo. So if I go that, it's slow. And you go to his air grab from there, and then you finish the combo like you usually would. Which is 10,100 damage, and that's really good when you consider that it didn't cost you any meter. And look, Aizawa's almost back by the end of the combo, so it practically didn't cost you anything. Okay, um, some more, re a really good way, this is where, um, All Might really shines with using Aizawa support, or some other combo support. I just like to use Aizawa because, you know, pro heroes. He can combo, um, off of his plus ultra one, really easily. If you bring out Aizawa just after the first hit hits, he'll be captured. And then you can go into your combos. Like 14,600 damage for 1 plus Ultra is pretty amazing. And once again, Aizawa's practically back at the end. And that was a pretty simple combo. Um, 
You can also keep it meterless, and it still does really good damage for a single plus ultra combo. Actually, yeah, I probably recommend just doing that because it was free and it still did 14,200 damage, which is really good damage for a single plus soldier, and it's super easy. Um, on top of this, if you want to be extra fancy, you can do it at the end of your regular combo. If you like get the meter partway through the combo. Uh, what? <laughs> Let's try that again. Mizawa. And yeah, getting tons of damage for easy plus ultra combos. And if you want to be really annoying, you can actually do it multiple times in a combo. Um, if I had two comboing supports, it would be a lot easier. Oops, my bad. And if I had another, com another combo support like Jiro or Kami, I'd be able to do it a third time, and that's just crazy damage, and it, it's really easy. And basically, that's all my. In a nutshell, oh, one thing I want to mention is he has really good guard pressure with this. So if I'm doing three hits into this, basically the whole game, because it's safe, so like, why wouldn't I? It's just a really good move I can constantly be using. So the opponent's going to be thinking that you're always going to be going into this. Three hits into armor move. But what if you randomly go three hits into instant into instant dash cancel red attack? The opponent is not going to be ready for that, and you can catch them really consistently and get easy 9,600 damage. Combo. So that's a really good mix-up that I like to use with all my is get yeah, three hits, dash cancel, instant dash, instant um, grab. And then you can go into whatever shenanigans you want from there. Anyways, guys, uh, as I show is Plus Ultra 2, which is, you know, just an average Plus Ultra 2, it does a lot of damage. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. All Might's really fun to play. I'm so glad you guys recommended him. I have so much playing him online. やりすぎたかな